You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, Nary here from Drake Queen Gaming. This is me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you another Let's Play episode of After Class. Ah, oh, I love this screen. It's so festive. Ah, it makes me wish it was Christmas all over again. Oh, I love it. All right, let's load our little game. All right, there we go. I'm still not sure how I want to make this playthrough about. Maybe Mark. I'm going to be doing all of them. Yes, I will. I shall be doing all of them. Anyway, guys, sit back and enjoy. I'm going to it for the next 20 minutes, and let's jump right into it. <clears throat> all right. Uh, all right. And, hmm. Maybe you can visit the school gym. The coach might, the coach might be there around this time. He smirked and gave you a subtle wink. He was totally hinting at something. You didn't even want to know what it was. Depending on what kind of guy you are, you might like or dislike him a lot. He's an interesting person, at least, but I'm really sure he's your type, whether you like his personality or not. Really, now? What's this about my type? Call it my cat sense. <laughs> Though, be careful around him. He'll devour you when you least expect it. Oh, uh, okay. The way he describes him, I'm not sure if I want to go near the coach. I had enough experience with my coach in high school. Ooh, that sounds weird. Okay. You'll thank me later. We'll see about that. Hmm. Other than that, I don't think there's anything worth visiting. It's not like I spend my time here anyway. I'm out, I'm out of here as soon as the class concludes. But if you're planning to go to the city, hit me up. Oh, I'll keep that in mind. Yep, see you around. He headed out so fast you couldn't even say goodbye or thanks. Eesh, he's so energetic it's kind of hard to keep up with him. Since you knew where to go now, thanks to Mark, you walked out only to, only to be stopped by Mr. Stone. I'm definitely going to be doing a playthrough with Mr. Stone. I like Mr. Stone. I like them older men. Mm. Please wait a minute, Henry. Uh-oh. He turned around in response and slowly walked toward him. D do you need anything, Mr. Stone? You didn't say good afternoon to your teacher or even smile, even though you just walked past him. That's... I mean... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. But no, I just want to say thank you for this morning. Oh, oh that. Y you're welcome. <laughs> What's wrong? You look nervous. Is something bothering you? I thought you were going to be mad that it was late on the first day. Oh? Why would I? I was late anyway. We can pretend that I didn't know that you were late if you want. <laughs> no, I just feel bad, that's all. Don't be. If it wasn't for you, I'd have gotten here later than I already was. I'm a new professor here, so I'm not used to this place yet. Well, it's not like I showed you where the classroom was, either. <laughs> Still, it's better than walking alone aimlessly. In any case, you were about to leave, I noticed, so don't let me hold you here any longer, Henry. Ah, yeah, um, but do you want to look around the school with me? I'd love to. But I have to review some papers. Ah, oh, bummer. How about next time, then? Definitely. All right. You were ready to explore the school, but then you remembered something. Oh, Mr. Stone, I want to apologize for acting strange earlier. Strange? Were you being strange? Ah, uh, the whole thing about being distracted and staring at you, something like that. That's totally okay. If you're staring, that means you're at least interested in me, right? You weren't sure how to respond to that. I... Uh, bad joke? Ah, uh, it seemed like. Either way, it's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Still. Well, if you want to apologize, how about you start calling me Parker instead of Mr. Stone? I'm not sure if I can do that. Sorry. Why is that? I just don't want to seem disrespectful to you in front of your other students, that's all. Hmm, how about Mr. Parker, then? Ah, huh, I can do that one. That's better than calling you by your first name without, uh, without an honorific. All right, Mr. Parker it is. Okay, I have to go now, Mr. Parker. See you later. Take care, Henry. I'll see you later. You exited the room, leaving Mr. Parker to review his papers. I wouldn't mind if you wanted me to stay there longer, though. <laughs> I'll bet. Okay, I'm here in the hallway. Where to go? Let's go to the cafeteria. Mark mentioned something about the cafeteria, so I'm going to visit it. I woke up late and skipped breakfast today. I could use a good meal or two right now. Day one, a big crowd, one lone bull. Mm. So, this is the cafeteria. Mark wasn't lying about it smelling great in the cafeteria. Ooh, listen to that music. 
There was a lot of smell in there, but not enough to overwhelm you, which is a good thing. My nose is smelling all kind of good things. As you sniffed around in secret, you saw something that was obviously out of place. Despite it being crowded in there, he was eating his food alone, as if everyone was avoiding him. I wonder what's up with that guy, and why is he eating so much grass? That wasn't grass, they were called vegetables. He sort of eats a lot too, and that's coming from someone who hasn't eaten anything since this morning. Although, I gotta admit that the food he's eating makes me even hungrier. I shouldn't waste more time. Let's get something to eat. You decided to grab some lunch while you were at the cafeteria. As you expected, all the other tables had been taken. You had no choice but to approach the lonely bull. At least you could eat without bumping your hands onto another, onto another, onto another person. Um, would you mind if I sit here? It seemed like he noticed you, as you noticed him looking at you from the corner of his eyes. He nodded, but kept talking to... no one. Thank you. You sat down since you got his permission. Not sure why you needed it in the first place, but no harm in asking after all. It was really quiet. You were actually feeling uncomfortable with it. Could that could that be the reason no one sat near him? It was like watching a bull eating grass and shrubs in the stable. No offense, bull guy. Things were getting more awkward with each passing moment. With your mind wondering if you did something wrong, you glanced on the book that was lying on the table. A handwritten word was etched on the card cover. Anders. Maybe that's his name? It certainly sounds foreign. His handwriting is so beautiful, too. For some reason, you felt a little self-conscious over a hand handwriting. That was unnecessary, but you couldn't help it. Before long, it became a full-blown self-consciousness which triggered your anxiety. Your brain started to tell you that he might be annoyed that you sat there. I wonder if he's annoyed that I'm sitting here. He actually... Hey, actually... Ah, okay. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm getting an Irish vibe from this guy. What nationality is this guy? If anyone in the comments can tell me. Until then, I'm going to do an Irish... Kind of an Irish... Maybe... Please don't get offended. I am not. I don't know like a huge amount of difference between an Irish and a Scottish accent, but that's because I'm a fucking American. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. <clears throat> Let's see if I can. All right. You're a freshman, aren't you? How do you know that? Is everyone here a psychic or something? <gasps> psychic connections. <laughs> everyone knows. No one sit here. No one would sit here if they weren't new. Well, you knew that no one would sit next to him, but that wasn't reason enough. Plus, you needed some place to sit down, and there was nowhere that there was no to do that except where he was. Now that you had a full view of what was happening, to some extent, you noticed a few were whispering and looking at you, all judgmental. There was an empty spot across your table. You wondered if you should move. No, I'm gonna sit here with Anders. Eesh, I already made myself uncomfortable here. I'm not going to move. And I'm too lazy to move anyway. Suit yourself. It seemed like he stopped paying attention to everyone near him, including you and the other students. He wished he wouldn't do that to you, though. He tried to do the same, blocking all their judgmental eyes on you. It started to get under your skin, however. What you fucks doing? The food was great, at least. Nothing like eating salad a few stairs from the others as the, as the dressing, after all. What's your name? Ah! Startled me. You weren't expecting that all the... You weren't expecting that at all, that it made you choke on your own spit. <laughs> Uh, my, my name is Henry. Anders the name. Yeah, I already know. That was it? That was it. No nice to meet you or how you doing, follow-ups, only silence. I feel like I should say something or I'll eventually die from this building tension. Oh, my stomach is hungry. My stomach is rumbling. I'm a hungry dog. Maybe that was an exaggeration, but anxiety wasn't something to be taken lightly. The ice needed to be broken. Think, Henry, think! Uh, food good? Food good? That was the best thing you could come up with? I'm sorry! Yes, it is. At least he responded to it. That was it. Again? Oh boy, this won't go well. Hey. Yeah? W what is it? Thanks for the company. I enjoyed it. Oh, no problem. There's no company in your mind. It was more like we're sitting together, but let's mind our own business to you. I'll get going now. Take care. Oh, okay. Hmm. You seem like a good guy, though. Why are they staring... Why are they staying away from him? And did he smile before he walked away? You paid no more attention to him and finished your food before heading back to the hallway to continue your school adventure. Hmm. Okay, I'm here in the hallway. Where'd he go? Let's go to the gymnasium. I'm not too enthusiastic about the coach. He sounds like trouble from what Mark said about him. I do have a feeling that it's going to be him. Oh, this isn't good. Oh, beautiful render, guys. 
Nice and clear, vivid, love it. After pushing that gigant the gigantic double door leading to the indoor school gymnasium, the school gym, someone on the far end of the room greeted you as you opened the door. Hey there! Are you here to see our basketball team? He was practically shouting, and his voice reminded you of someone you used to know in high school. Damn, he's a big boy. Coach Gill? And it was him. I knew it was going to be him. Of all people, why him? Oh, if this isn't my favorite student from high school, Henry. Let me rephrase what I said earlier. Are you here to see me? <laughs> he grinned from ear to ear as he walked towards you. Your first instinct was to head out of the gym, but he was known for moving really fast. You heard a squeaking sound for a second, possibly his shoes rubbing against the hardwood floor. And yes, as you guessed, he was already standing behind you. Understandable, you weren't as fast a person to begin with. You had no choice but to let him do whatever he wanted to do. Surprisingly, he only patted you on the shoulder, slowly caressing it. Could have been worse, really. Where you going, Henry? He put his face close to your ear and whispered, Stay here a little longer, please. It sent shivers down your spine when he did that. This was borderline sexual harassment. Some people would immediately report this to the authorities. Okay, so I am seeing why... A couple of my viewers weren't too keen on this one. But I'm gonna power through. Oh, hopefully. Okay, I don't know much about this guy, but he is definitely giving off creepy vibes right now. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna power. We're gonna power through it. We're gonna get through this bullshit. You're not gonna dentist me, you son of a bitch. But he didn't because he somewhat enjoyed it. Oh. Okay, it was up to debate, honestly. But for the sake of our audience's enjoyment, let's keep. <laughs> all right, fourth wall breaking. All right. I'm not feeling annoyed. I'm not doing a Coach Gill run today either right now. Um, Coach, please don't do that. It's annoying. He moved his hand away and went back to his starting position. Oh, uh, that was just a friendly shoulder squeezing, though. It felt more than friendly to me. Sure, sure. Huh, looks like he hasn't even changed even a little. Coach Gill, full name Gilbert, don't call him that. Leonard, love to get physical. Part of you once wondered why he did that, but then you realized something. Being in the canine family and all, the same was true for you, since it was uh, well, since it was ingrained in your genes, so it was hard to blame him for being who he was. Oh, okay, then maybe that's just a species thing, I guess. That's what the game seems to be alluding to. Canines are known to be physical. Like you like getting touched, you like touching others, but at least you wouldn't want you wouldn't just touch people whenever you had the chance. It's almost like he's got no boundaries with anyone. No, oh, so kind of like Oscar. You gotta follow the norms set by society, after all. You gotta admit that he had magic in his hands. His touches were so good they made you excited in more ways than one. Ugh! I have to make sure that he wouldn't find out that last bit. What if he did? He would have done something dangerous to me. All my first time to be with someone special, not a fling. Such naivety. You got lost in your own thoughts, and it seemed like he caught on to it. Hey! Still here. Oh, sorry, getting distracted. Isn't that you since, I don't know, forever? What? Of course not! He was actually hitting the bullseye. I've known you for a long time now, Henry. I think that's true. Uh, two years isn't exactly a long time. Right. Anyway, I got transferred here. What a coincidence. For some reason you doubted it. Was it really a coincidence? It probably was. There was no reason for him to transfer here for you. I suppose so. You don't sound too excited about this. <laughs> well, I should get going now. I'll see you sometime, coach. Hmm. Okay, Henry. Talk to you soon. He patted you on the shoulder once again, and then he smiled before he walked away to play with his team. I feel like I hurt his feelings. Ah, oh, I'm so conflicted. Silence, silence. Since there was nothing you could do in the gym at the moment, you left the school gym on a sour note. Uh, okay. I'm here in the hallway. Where to go? In the fields. Let's go make some more men. Oh, school hospital, I guess. There was nothing here but the wind, and a lonely soccer field, or what some people call a football pitch. I honestly would expect at least a few people here, but it looks totally deserted. Let's go back to where I started. This place is nice, though. I should keep this place in mind just in case I want to be left alone. Before you went back, one person accidentally bumped into you. The force was so strong that you couldn't help but fall onto the ground. 
That person tried to help, but when he reacted, it was already too late. So he fell down with a thud along with the water flask he lost, in his, he lost his grip on. What's with me bumping into people today? I'm really sorry. I was distracted. Oh. Me. Oh. Oh. Okay, so this game isn't finished. Alright. Um, guys, this is a shadow person. Ooh. In front of you was a person towering over you. He extended his hand, offering you some help getting up. His hand? Okay. Ah, oh, thank you. Before you grabbed his hand, he quickly snatched his water flask from the ground. He then pulled you up with ease once he got his grip on your hand. Almost too easy, even. How strong was this guy? Now that you weren't sitting on the ground anymore, you noticed that he was still towering over you. You patted your hand several times. At least the grass made your landing less painful. That's okay. I should have paid more attention. <laughs> I thought it would only be I thought it would only be me today. I wasn't expecting one either. I thought this place was deserted. Usually, yeah, but there's this lion person who sleeps here occasionally. I see. Here, you dropped this. Thank you. Mm, I have to go now. Thanks for the help and sorry for bumping into you. No worries, and I apologize for getting distracted. It's okay. Character added. Unknown character. Okay, I'm here in the hallway. Where to go? Let's go home. I guess I've seen enough. Let's just go home. As soon as you got out of the building, you felt your phone buzzing. Who'd be texting you around this time? Probably your parents. Hmm, just a spam email. I guess it so. Oh! Ow! Why do people keep ramming into me? Are you just trying to make me mad? <laughs> you again? Are you trying to get yourself hurt, kid? I was just checking my phone. I didn't realize you were there. Not leaving good impressions. Excuses, excuses. I don't care what your reason is. He sort of clenched his teeth and kept his eyes on you intensely. If those stairs could kill, you would be dead by now. N I s swear it. I, I got it. No need to explain it twice. But you just... I said I got it. Understand? Yes. He swore you saw some steam blowing out of his nostrils. Jeez, he's close and massive. Heard those before. Good. What's this guy's problem? Whatever. Come with me. He grabbed your hands and pulled you with him without letting you say anything. Uh-oh. Huh? What? But why? Even though he was pulling your arm, he was being gentle about it. Would you please stop asking questions? No, because you're just bringing me here without telling me why. He didn't say anything and looked at you instead. Even though he wasn't that much taller than you, he had a bigger he had a bigger build, so he looked a lot more intimidating than he was. Come on, at, at least tell me where we were going, yeah? Still no response from him, so you just give up. You were just too busy complaining and didn't realize you'd been walking with his hand grabbing yours. Two men holding each other's hands. It was really embarrassing when you really thought about it. Although the reality of the situation wasn't like what it seemed. He took you here by force, not by your own accord. Well, there was no force, actually. You just followed him because he was holding your arm, so you had to. Assertive and dominant. Oh. <laughs> ah, weird thoughts. Go away. No gay thoughts. No. You shook your head as hard as possible. What the kid? The fuck are you doing? N nothing. Trying not to think about it, you looked at him. Despite his rough appearance, you could feel that he was a gentle person, judging from how he held your hand. His paws were a little bit rugged. You wondered what he did for his paws to feel like that. Suddenly, he stopped pulling you around and finally released his grip on you. This is where I bumped into him this morning. Is he getting revenge? Goodbye, cruel world. Hey, sorry. Eh? Why are you apologizing? What do you mean? Isn't that your name? What? I asked what your name was this morning, and, you, and what came out of your mouth was, I'm sorry, and things like that. What? What in the world was this? Some kind of lame dad joke? But, no, that's not my name. My name is Henry. What? <clears throat> I mean, I know that. Yeah, sure you do. I said I know that! Eep! Why are you yelling at me? Some of the pedestrians stopped at the sound to see what was going on. Oh, young people and their lovers' quarrels nowadays. <laughs> oh my god. That's so stereotypical old man. Both of you overheard what the old man said. Well, to be fair, he said it quite loud. There was no way you couldn't hear what he said. Neither of you mentioned it, but there was an awkward silence happening between the two of you. He said the same, but his face was getting red just a little bit. 
You stay here. Not wanting to make the situation worse, you stay quiet and listen to him. He told you to stay there, but he didn't really move that far from you. You still can see him clearly from here. What is he doing? Judging from his hand motion, it seemed like he was getting something out of his pocket. When he got it, he turned around. He tripped over a small rock while he was walking towards you. Ouch! It looked sounded and it sounded it looked and sounded painful, so he hurried to see if he was okay. Hey, uh, are you okay? Uh, I'm okay. His hand was holding something tightly. It was like a small chain or something, but before you could inspect it better, he got up. Ah, I'm glad it got it's not scratched. When he got up, you noticed that his arm was bleeding a little. And I'm going to pause it there, guys. You're just going to have to wait till the next episode to find out what this big tiger dude was holding. And I guess we're going to get to find his name, find out his name, too. I know you guys complain about the cliffhangers, but come on. It keeps you coming back. Also, all my most of my favorite YouTubers do the same damn thing, and it works for them, so. <laughs> but hey, just make some more content next time. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell until the next video. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!